What's up guys, Brian Phobos here. Just want to talk a little bit about the EOS Hackathon and a couple things about EOS VC here at the beach. Gonna get in, it's about a six on the shrinker scale. Well, maybe a seven. Actually, let's give it a seven. But um, with EOS VC, basically one of the things that was said, which was good to hear, is it looks like the focus is on projects that are built on the EOS IO software not necessarily that they're going to be on the eos mainnet um, that's not necessarily a criteria from my understanding but it just has to be built on the eos io software so if you think really about eos io or block one it's kind of like the kernel project for linux and dan larimer is kind of like linus torvalds so that's kind of the way i like to think about it they're working on the base implementation they are working on some dApps. Now, I wasn't able to get a lot of information out of them because there's a lot of things they can't say, but Dan Larimer had already disclosed that he was working on the next iteration of Steam and the next iteration of BitShares that'll run on top of EOS IO. Um, now, some of the people, you know, obviously the, the developers there at Block One appear to be working on some of those dApps, like it seems to be about half and half. So, that's um, something that seems to be for sure coming. But one of the things I wanted to say is a lot of the people that, even if they didn't place in the top three at the hackathon here in Sydney, they still received venture capital money from EOS VC. And um, from everything I was told, the first place winner that won the 100000 he also received $50,000 of venture capital money from EOS VC. Now, I don't know how that's structured, if there's some sort of interest on it, or if it's like, here, here's the funding, develop something that's going to bring more focus and more users to this software. I'm not really sure how they're approaching that. Again, my interpretation, the fact that Peter Thiel and Jihan Wu invested in block one, um, I'm assuming it's on the VC portion and that there would be some sort of return, but maybe it's a little bit different. Maybe they actually invested in EOS and then the more products and dApps that are built on top of EOS IO, then the bigger the return would be. It's actually an interesting business model because if you support the ecosystem with let's say these hackathons and supporting development, and you bring those killer dApps to this blockchain, then ultimately the EOS token or coin would have more value and it would, it would drive demand towards it. So it's an interesting play. Um, but anyway, that's just one of the things I wanted to say about that. It's not necessarily that it has to run on the EOS mainnet. It can run on the EOS IO software and if you have to launch your own chain it seems like that's fine you can still get venture capital funding from esvc um, or if there's another chain that ends up launching i know there is a couple other groups um, so we'll see what happens in the future um, but it was extremely extremely exciting to hang out with the employees from block one as well as the other mentors that were part of the community like myself uh, tons of smart people and the you know the developers themselves that were in the hackathon as participants were extremely smart extremely bright and really picked up on a lot of the concepts extremely fast so anyway that's all I wanted to say follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos Twitter Instagram YouTube steam it see you guys later